Yeah, so uh, welcome everybody. So um, I promised to come up with one video to explain how you can incorporate two explanatory variables in a regression in Excel. So the idea here is that the dependent variable, this is a number of points scored in the final exam. So here we have a list of uh, the 200 students, 1 to 200, and uh, they all participated in the exam and they scored a certain number of points. We have two variables which should explain how good or bad the student performed in the exam. And one variable stems from an intelligence test, so we know whether a student is intelligent or not, so we have the intelligence score here. Furthermore, it is the case that we have a second explanatory variable, and the second explanatory variable, this is the effort level, like the number of hours the student started to study for the exam. So, for example, student number one scored 67 points, has an uh, intelligence score of 90, and studied 11 hours for the exam. Student number 10 scored 44 points, the intelligence level is 69, and this student only studied 8 hours for the exam. So now we want to find out whether there is a positive influence of intelligence on the number of points scored and whether there is like a positive influence on of the effort level on the number of points scored. So let's do a regression analysis. Uh, data, data analysis, the regression tool is here. Uh, I have to incorporate all the information with respect to the y variable, the dependent variable. This is from D6 to the level D206. Next one, the input x range. Here we have to incorporate all the information in column E and column F simultaneously. So from E6 to F206. This is very important here. Here in this uh, input, uh, input X range, we can incorporate two explanatory variables. Because of the fact that we also included row number six, where we have recorded the labels, we have to make a check here at labels. Now we press the OK button and we get the output. Um, it is the case that we received one coefficient here for the intelligence and this is equal to 0.8 and we also estimated one coefficient for the effort level and here the coefficient for the effort level is equal to 1.1. In case that we want to find out whether the coefficient is significantly different from zero, uh, we just have to look at the confidence interval. The zero is not included, therefore it is the case that these coefficients are significantly different from zero. This example was uh, introduced to just highlight how we can incorporate two independent variables in a regression in Excel. So please enjoy and perform the same um, analysis in your second group assignment. Thank you very much.